All right, so here is part C. Now, if I wanted to find the concavity of the curve at 1, 1, remember, based off our fun chart, if I want to think about concavity of a fun then I could look at the first derivative graph, but I really don't know what this looks like. So instead, I'm going to look at where the second derivative is positive or negative. Now, when I'm looking at my curve, because this gives this to me, I know that my curve here at 1, 1 is concave up like a cup. So I just want to prove that at 1, 1, this derivative is going to be positive. Okay, so the graph kind of helps us there see that. So if I have my first derivative, just copying this down from part A, I now need to find the derivative of this derivative. So that would be second derivative. Since I have two functions here, okay, or two curves really, here I would need to use quotient rule to find the second derivative. So that's going to be low d high. So 6x minus the derivative of y with respect to x minus 0, and I'm not going to write the minus 0. Low d high. I'm still using implicit differentiation to take the derivative of the numerator of this curve minus high d low. So 12y squared times dy dx plus 1 would be the derivative of the denominator. 3, bring it down. That's how I get the 12. y to the power of 2, so I'm using power rule here, times I took the derivative of a y with respect to x, so I need my dy dx, plus 1, all over low squared. Now, before you get too overwhelmed by everything, I just need to know if at 1, 1, if this mamma jamma of a second derivative is positive or negative. And so I know at 1, 1 that x equals 1, I know that y equals 1, and I know from part b that the derivative at 1, 1 is a fifth. So I'm just going to plug that in here and see where I go. Okay, on my signs here. So I would have 4 plus 1 times 6 minus a fifth minus 3 minus 1 minus 1, 12 times 1 fifth plus 1, all over 4 plus 1 squared. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So this is 5 times. 6 would be 30 over 5, so this would be 29 fifths minus 1 times, this is 12 fifths, and this would be 5 fifths, so 17 fifths all over 25, 5 squared on the bottom. These fives here will cancel. If I have a five times something over five, that's going to be inverse operations with multiplication and division. And I know that 29, okay, minus 17 fifths is going to give me something that is positive because 29 is bigger than 17 fifths. Therefore, the curve must be concave up. at 1, 1. Alright, so if you are at Southeast, um, we are going to, I'm going to post the answer keys to the practice problems on our group meet, so that that way you can do some practice and then check your answers. And 
And that's about it.